How's it going, everybody? Dotanoi here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters update video for you all today. And this is the news we've been waiting on for quite some time now. That, of course, being the next DLC character finally getting confirmed. And as you can probably tell from the thumbnail or title, that character is going to be Super Baby 2. And I do want to say this just up front because I know with a series like Dragon Ball, there's a lot of different characters that can get into this game. But even if you aren't a fan of Baby, you should definitely stick around because along with the confirmation that this character is coming to the game we also got information about some of his special and super moves and these mechanics are insane that's why i think even if you aren't a fan of the character there is something to love here which is really cool to me because they've been doing a great job at making these newer dlc characters super unique so with all that out of the way let's get into the actual information that we have on super baby 2 of course all credit goes to dbs hype if you're a fan of dragon ball or any avenue of dragon ball definitely go give him a follow he does a lot of great news and keeps you updated on stuff and i'm also going to be using a translation of the event from this user here because just from reading their tweet it does seem like they have experience playing fighters which i think helps the translation come across a bit more naturally so now let's actually get into those special moves starting with darkness spring shot which description states even if it misses it will come back from off screen now this can be a really useful effect especially if the second part of this happens automatically instead of having to be an actual input don't get me wrong both methods can be really good but automatically helps out in more of a pressured sense and being able to input it helps out more with combos we've seen a move kind of like this with master roshi where he throws the little key blast and can bend it back if he inputs it that's why i'm personally hoping this one is something that happens automatically and then up next we get into the absolute craziest thing i have ever read for a dragon ball fighters character and that is even if your ally is down you can still get them to use their z assist to make them attack think of that is <laughs> that is so crazy especially with a system like limit break in the game which ironically enough we did talk about whether or not they would consider nerfing it and now i'm almost thinking do they kind of have to nerf limit break here honestly this makes super baby 2 sound like the best possible anchor in the game just on paper imagine having that limit break damage with assist to extend combos or just keep pressure that means if you're going up against a team of kid boo gt goku and super baby 2 and super baby 2 is the last one alive he gets all of that damage boost and still has the lockdown assist for kid boo and the neutral slash combo assist of goku gt that is a nightmare dude <laughs> <laughs> that is legitimately terrifying. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm being less analytical, but man, I'm just such a huge fan of that because that that's crazy, dude. That is, that's going to be so fun to mess around with. The next bit of information we got on Super Baby is that he does have access to full power energy wave, which is also noted as being able to aim downward. Firing down a key blast, having more options is usually always a good thing. Up next, we have Revenge Death Ball, which this translator notes is not having anything to tell us. I can imagine this is just your standard cool looking super. Going to be fun to look at obviously probably will just do a set amount of damage and that's all and then after that we have another cool thing that i mentioned at the beginning this is something that i think even if you're not a fan of super baby you might have been waiting for something like this and that is the giant ape attack on hit much like broly's level three which the translator notes here you transform into a giant ape and lash out and then it mentions if an ally is touched baby will shoot out a straight beam so i'm going to be completely honest i'm not entirely sure if this is going to be a permanent thing or just a quick level three but the idea that it has something to do with the assist makes it seem like this will be a permanent sort of state i don't know it seems super weird and it's not something i'm confident enough to say this is exactly how it'll probably work or how good it will be etc etc but i think we can say for sure it will look really cool it's so nice to know that we're finally going to be seeing a great ape in the fighter's art style even if it is the golden great ape which i don't mind but it would have been kind of nice to see a normal great ape as well and with that that is pretty much all of the concrete details we know about super baby 2 and now we can move on to talking about what does this mean for the last unknown character and the event that's happening on the 20th. If you didn't know, Japan's World Tour Finals are happening on the 20th, and they were also going to reveal the next character there, but now we know that character is Super Baby 2. Now, obviously, it'll still be exciting because we'll be able to watch the trailer of him in motion for the first time, but will they also reveal a second character there to keep our interest as well, or will they keep that last character hidden until a later date? At this point, it really could be anything, so I'm just going to turn it over to you guys in the comment section. What are you guys hoping for on the 20th? Are you hoping that we get that second character reveal? Or are you hoping that we get it later on down the line and get to see what they can do with even more time? Other than that, while you're down below in the comments, let me know what you think about Super Baby 2 so far. Obviously, the scans we have on us are pretty low quality right now, so it's hard to talk about the visuals so much, but I personally am very excited. It's not Omega Shenron, so I have to accept that I was wrong, and now I just kind of have to hope that either he gets added as the last character, or maybe we'll still find a way to get Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 in here. I don't know, it is crazy. Crazy to be. I 
definitely thought Omega had a really high chance of coming. I'll let you guys talk about that down below in the comment section though. While you're down there, make sure to the like button and subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos that should be on your screen right now. I've been Dr. Doya. Thanks for watching this one all the way to the end and I'll see you in the comment section.